So what the person should do. All right, so we were training last class right here. So he's going to start on that position right here. And then I can push or I can pull. So remember that every time I'm here and I want to get that side control. If I push him away, I cannot give this space because something that's going to happen is he's going to turn and now I need to pass his legs. So I cannot do that, all right? So right now, so what I'm doing right here is I'm going to push, I'm going to stay close to him, and I'm going to get the side control. Let me do it in a different angle right here. So look, I'm here. I'm going to push my opponent. I'm going to control. You see, I'm on the side right here. I have my knees open, and then I get arm around the neck, arm under the arm, and I get my hands together. That, the side, that is the side mount, all right? So again, my partner is going to be on the turtle position. If I just go like that, what he's going to do, he's going to face me, and now I have to deal with the legs. I don't want to deal with the legs, so as soon as I push, I'm going to stay on top and get that side control position, all right? So let's start with that i'm gonna give you guys one minute be gentle with your partner all right <coughs> that's very simple ready and go okay time so pay attention here so what i want to do look at my hands so i have one hand by the shoulder and i have one hand by the hip right now so I'm not on top of the person trying to push. No, I don't want that. So look, hand on the shoulder, hand on the hip. I'm gonna push him. Once his back is on the mat, arm goes around the head, arm goes under the arm. And I have that side mount. Okay, I'm heavy right here, heavy. One more time. I cannot be like this because I'm gonna push him and look at that. Oh, now he's on top of me. All right, so I cannot throw my leg or my arm. Right now it's just hand on the shoulder, hand on the hip and push the person. Once my opponent's back is on the mat, get the cross face and the underhook. Read it, one more minute and go. Very good, very good. And time. And now let's see what happens right here. Okay, so again, I'm on the side right here. And then every time that I'm gonna try to do, of course, look what my partner, look what he's gonna do. He's gonna probably post that hand on the mat right there. It's not gonna go anywhere. I can push as much as I can. Because with that hand right there, he's not going to go. He's not, I'm not going to be able to flip him over. All right? So look. So instead to go with the hand on the shoulder, so what I want to do is I want to control that wrist. So my hand right here, I'm going to control the wrist. One. And now with this hand, it's on the hip, and then I'm going to push. So he cannot post the hand on the mat anymore because I'm controlling, all right? So I'm here on the side, control the wrist, push, follow, and get that side control. Very important. Okay, one more time. So, control the wrist. Which arm do I want? The far arm. If I control this arm and push, look, he's gonna pulse anyway. So I control the wrist, push, follow, and get that side mount control. Okay, let's go one minute. Read it, and go. And tie. Okay, next technique is right here. Okay, so remember, I said sometimes when you get that position, you are going to, one, you can do a submission. Two, you can 
flip the guy over and get side mount. Three, you can take the back. So now we are going to take the back. All right, so look, my partner is here. That is the, that's the turtle position right here. And then what I need to do is, I'm gonna go and play. You see how there's a little, a gap? Even that he has his elbow and his knee together right here, that is always gonna be a, a gap right there. And I need this space. As soon as I release the pressure on him, he's not gonna stay there. He's gonna go and turn and face me and go back to his knee. So I'm always, I have to be right here, heavy on him. I'm gonna place my, uh, the far left, I'm gonna put my knee right here, one, and I'm gonna open that space. What I'm trying to do right here is disconnect. I want this space. I don't want his knee close to his uh, elbow anymore. All right, so he's right here. If I try to do something with my arm, that's very hard. But when I get the leg, look, that's the first thing. One, two, three. So now, once I get this knee, see my knee is right almost on his chest. So I need to go head and arm, just like the seat belt position. All right, so now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my hip on the mat right here. I'm gonna pull him on top and I'm gonna take the back. So let me do the other side right here. Look, one. I'm gonna place my knee between his, between his knee and his elbow. Okay, my knees on, my legs on this side. So I'm gonna go, seat belt. So arm around the neck, arm under the arm, hands together, my hands together right here, or right here, whatever you want. So now, what I need to do is I need to place this shoulder on the mat. Look, I'm gonna place the shoulder on the mat one. Look, where is my knee? My knee is here already. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna go here too. Get, throw my leg over and get my leg around. And three, free the bottom leg and get my back position, get my seat belt position. All right, so again, one, two, I'm gonna pull him on top of me. First is the top leg, and then the bottom leg. Okay, so let's try to do that. And time. Okay, so look at that. So do today was, oh, this week it was, we did a lot about the turtle position. And the reason that we did some work, I choose this position right here is, because something that I don't want, I don't like to see is, my opponent is here, and then I see the kid right there. Oh, and then you try to go and mount. So this is not okay. I cannot be he here on top of him, just with my legs right there. This is not that mount position. When I have that mount, that's okay. When I try, I'm trying to take the back, that's not okay because if he place his forehead on the mat, if he place his hands on the mat and lift his hips, boom. And now I'm on bottom and he's gonna get that side control. So I cannot, I don't like to see this right here. You guys play like that. So he's not a horse, he's not a bike, he's not a motorcycle. You cannot do that. So if you are on top, you make sure you have your legs around. All right. That was it for today, guys.